So you may be like me who has an awesome iPod Touch 5G. Why did I say awesome? Because it's a great device. Just look at it. I mean, 4 inch display and you got the glass screen on the front and then you got this anodized aluminum on the back, especially if you got it in my favorite color, product red, yeah, because red is my favorite color. This is a really neat device, but the one thing that isn't a good thing about this device is that because of the anodized aluminum, it is easy slipping out of your hand. Now, I actually almost uh, made this thing fell to the ground a few times but luckily uh, I was standing above carpet. If it was hard concrete or hardwood floors or plywood eh, it would not look so pretty if it were to hit the screen. But there are solutions out there. What are the solutions? Cases of course because cases provide protection. Now what kind of case is there for the iPod Touch 5th generation since it was only released uh, last year, 2012, October. Because you don't see too many people talk about cases for the iPod Touch 5th generation. Actually, there are plenty of videos on that. But the one we're going to be looking at today is the Spec Candy Shell Grip for the iPod Touch 5th generation. I've been using this on my iPod and now it's time for a full review of the Spec Candy Shell Grip. Let's begin. Alright, so let's begin with the full review of the Spec Candy Shell Grip for the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, let's take a look at the one that I currently have. This color is called the Sour Apple Green with, with the uh, black. It is something similar like that. So, as you can see, this is a plastic hard shell case with the, a silicone uh, combining with the plastic. The, the silicone is uh, right inside the case, which is actually where your iPod will be resting in, and then on the f um, front or on the outside of the case, you got this hard plastic, and then you got these dumb, uh, the these dumb bumps over here, which is supposed to help you get a grip on your device. That way, it's not slipping out of your hand. Yeah, it's almost uh, like the OtterBox Commuter series that I have for the iPhone 4. You got the silicone right here, and then you got the uh, uh, plastic piece that goes over the silicone. Uh, this is uh, somewhat the same design, except this is just one a one-piece case. All right. So, uh, how is this case designed? Well, this is like I said before. This is designed so it doesn't slip out of your hand. Simple as that. All right. Textured finger pads. This is what I talked about. Yeah. Uh, uh, tactical dumb bumps and uh, dual layer casing all around protection. So, not only is this case supposed to help you get a grip on your device, but uh, this is supposed to uh, add some style as well. So Spec has done a great job uh, doing that uh, so far from what I've seen. And let's get a uh, take a look at the case itself. So you got the cutout for the camera right here, as well as a cutout for your iPod Touch loop that comes with the fifth generation iPod Touch. And of course, inside we all know that you also have a cover for the volume buttons right here. Uh, and they have a nice tactical feedback to it. Same thing uh, with the sleep wake button at the top. And of course, you got an opening for your lightning connector as well as you know, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This case does cost $34.95 off of the uh, Specs website. I got this from Amazon and then the uh, Specs shipped it out. So I paid through Amazon. Now, the way you install this case is this. So first of all, you don't want any dust or debris inside the case as well or on your iPod. What you do is, the way I do it is button side first. So the volume goes in. Okay, put it in. And then on the other side, you're going to push the iPod uh, into the case. Push it gently. And there you go. The iPod uh, Touch 5th generation is seated inside the case. Now please note. However way you're going to be installing in the, the, this case on the iPod, there are possible chances that you can actually click the sleep wake button. But you know, this is a tight case and this is an all-in-one case, so you really can't complain about that. But as long as it doesn't hurt your button, then that's fine. So as you can see, you got the cutoff for the camera and you have this black uh, ring around it. So that way you don't have any flash issues for glare when you were to use the LED flash camera is open and what I like is 
the, how deep the camera is inside because with the iPod Touch 5th generation, the camera is actually popping out of the casing. So as you can see, it is inside the, the camera hole. So that way when I put it down on a flat surface like this, I don't have to worry about the camera scratching or possibly cracking if I were to drop this thing on the flat surface. All right. And of course you have an opening for the iPod Touch loop right here. Now this is one thing that I don't like about the case so far. I, I mean, it's great that you have the accessibility to use the iPod Touch loop. However, I feel like the hole is not uh, big enough to install the iPod Touch loop on here. Because I had a hard time putting it on uh, when I was trying to put the lanyard on. And because of that, it actually ruined the loop that I had and let me show you guys what happened because here is the loop see how bent up it is that was because uh, of how I was putting in this case and then it looks like uh, the ways you're supposed to put it in is you have to try to get it into one side and then pull onto the other side and then pull it so that way it's nice and secure and then when you want to take it out you actually have to push this thing up and then actually pull it uh, now to me that's not very convenient at all because uh, I, I just ruined the iPod Touch loop uh, because as I said in my full review of the iPod Touch 5th generation I'm not a big fan of this iPod Touch loop at all and this case just uh, made it worse for me to use it so uh, this is this is totally useless and uh, because of this cutout it's actually useless to uh, use the iPod Touch loop so if you guys want to buy this case uh, because you, you can still use the loop in the case because some cases actually cover that part you really have to think about uh, considering in this case, and you're just doing it for the loop, but if you're doing it for the style and the protection, then uh, go figure. Uh, do whatever you want. Uh, me, I'm not going to even use the loop anymore. Uh, you have a, uh, the headphone jack is uh, open, the lightning connector is open, and the speaker uh, is open a little bit right here. Now, the thing with the headphone jack, so far I used the Apple EarPods that came with my iPod Touch 5th generation, and those fit in completely fine. But when you're using the strange looking headphones such as like well not strange looking headphones what I'm talking about like the L-shaped headphones uh, there's an issue of uh, the headphones fitting onto uh, the uh, into the jack uh, with the iPod uh, with this case on the iPod excuse me I can't talk today <laughs> uh, because you can actually get part of it in but it won't click in all the way so that means you won't be able to hear any sound while you, know, you are listening to music and you want to use the headphone jack. As far as the speaker is concerned, I don't hear any muffling and the speed and the cutout for the speaker is actually different because they actually did little dots whereas on the iPod itself the speakers are just individual holes going across in one row and on this case they have it in multiple rows. And as you can see you've got a lay on the table design. This is what I meant when I was talking about all around protection. And so you got a lay on the table design so when you have a notification popping up you just set it fat face, face down uh, so that way you, uh, your screen is not visible to the public. So this does feel nice in the hand. Uh, in my unboxing of this case, I did mention that it was okay, but as I got to use it more and more, uh, I'm actually uh, a big fan of it. And this doesn't add too much thickness to all, I mean, uh, at all. Yeah, here is the OtterBox Community Series compared to the 5th uh, generation iPod Touch. A spec candy shell grip and yeah it is thinner because this is made for the iPhone 4 of course but this is actually almost the size of the iPhone 4 now with this case added onto the iPod touch 5th generation maybe uh, and it's just a little bit thicker in fact let me get my iPhone right here so this is my iPhone 4 and it's naked right now and just look at the size of the iPhone 4 itself compared to the spec candy shell grip it is uh, actually almost the same size as the iPhone 4 except this is a little bit thicker and if you guys don't know I don't mind using my iPhone 4 uh, without a case because I feel like the thickness for the size of the phone you know, since it's only featured a, a three and a half inch display is actually uh, good enough and then with a case added on there it's much better so you can get a better grip on it and this is actually not a bad uh, design at all and of course if you want to add major the thickness to it, then you would get something like the OtterBox Defender or a case by Griffin, where that case by Griffin is actually waterproof. So, 
the spec candy shell grip, I'm not too concerned about if I uh, uh, were to drop this thing on the ground, but if it hit place down on a, a rock, then I am pretty much screwed. But the one thing that I find very odd uh, was like, this case cost $34.95. So you, uh, uh, a case at this kind of price, uh, you kind of uh, expect uh, a little bit more stuff to come in. Uh, but all you got was the case itself. You don't even have a screen shield on it. If you want a screen shield by spec, you have to order that separately, which is like almost 10 bucks, I believe. And uh, for me, if I were to pay this amount of money for a case, I should be getting a, uh, at least a screen shield on it. Uh, so that way I can protect my screen from scratches. Uh, now, you guys might feel differently, but for me, $34.95, uh, yeah, you should be getting a, uh, a screen shield. Uh, you know, this Otterbox Commuter Series, uh, this was like uh, 30 bucks or a little bit more, I believe, and you got a screen shield of it with a microfiber cloth and a squeegee. Now, however, Spec is not the only uh, company that is doing this. I believe InCase is doing this as well. When I bought the InCase slider for my iPhone 3G, it just came with the case itself. No screen shield or nothing, and that was worth 35 bucks. And in fact, Spec yeah, used to put screen shield in their cases for the older devices such as the iPhone 3G, 3GS, iPhone 4, uh, man, I, I'm thinking the iPhone 4 or the 4S, but the iPhone 5, I'm, th I'm thinking not you know, from what I've seen from here. So I think uh, this is a great case overall and uh, I can definitely recommend this to you guys. Uh, but for $34.95, you should be getting a little bit more stuff in there. Uh, uh, maybe it doesn't have to be like Switch Easy where Switch Easy uh, has this slogan. You get everything but the kitchen sink because Switch Easy, you get like, you have a crap load of stuff. You have two screen shows come with it uh, with a squeegee, a microfiber cloth, uh, two uh, headphone jack connectors, two dock connector uh, covers. And if you uh, get the one for the iPod Touch, uh, then you get like, or maybe it's just a Rebel Touch, I can't remember, but you get like a headphone jack extender. So, you know, well, what I'm trying to say is that. Uh, uh, this case is awesome and it feels great and I definitely recommend this to you guys There will be a link in the description below if you guys want to buy it uh, you, you can buy it off of Specs website or you can buy it off of Amazon link to both will be down in the description below Overall, I really do uh, like the case and I'm glad that I tried out something different because in the past I tried iFrogs in case out of box those are great and I'm trying out you know, new companies uh, for cases and uh, I tell you what spec you have definitely got me into your products, uh, but I just wish you would uh, it would come with a screenshot. But then again, that's my only uh, gripe because of the price point. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, go ahead and click the like button down below, as well as subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And what kind of case do you rock on your iPod Touch 5th generation? I definitely would like to know, or just any device in general, even if this was the iPhone 2G. Uh, you know, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Have a good day now. Take care.